agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Not sure we can climb this place, but we'll, we'll Good eyes see. on the target. Let's move. Yeah, <coughs> we are good. Back it up, they're gonna see you. Tango down. We're suspected, but we should be good. Or not. They were completely prepared for the fact that we might be here. We're clear uh, over the here. The target might be spooked, but hopefully we are alright. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies we later. In the area. Got him. Keep close. it going. There's a Sicario over here. Point him out. In front of the watchtower. Steady now. Sicario with a submachine gun. The sandbag emplacement. See? Silencio. Marche. Pinche cabron. Está bien, ganaron. We got him. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Your thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Fast, 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 please. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Got another tango. I got a third I'm target. I'm moving to position. Stand by to take target one. Ready to fire. On my mark. I'm opening fire. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't going to wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Let's go. Keep it going. Two cars. We'll take one of them. Free cars. I got this one. But we'll check the camp first for intel. Yeah, we're good. Traffic here leaves a lot to be desired, but we'll go. Jump in. The rain and the reduced lightning is gonna make this a bit easier, but we'll see how much easier. We'll need to recon, either, recon the area and see what we can find. Deploying drone. Spotting another tango. Tango number three. That makes five. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Tango down. Look for the next. Got it. Moving. I want you to take that guy who's working with the boxes. 
Take him on my next shot. Stand by. Three, two, one. Opening fire. They're on alert. Three. Return fire. Return fire. Okay, we're still all right. We got a couple of hostiles left in the building. Tango down. We good. Clear. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, I'm getting you out of here. Clear. We got some supplies here. Let's take them. Into that helicopter. We'll liberate it from the Santa Blanca. Catari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Not the best weather to be flying in, but we can't really be picky if we need to extract him quickly. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. No 
Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. Taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Okay, so we got a number of Sicarios down there. I'm getting a position. Got another tango. Mark the captain. A good position. Captain is marked. Target acquired. Standing by. Say the word, boss. Sniper ready. Green. Green. Going on. Enemy down. By the helicopter. I got a target carrying submachine guns. I'm spotting another tango. Three, three hundred meters by the house. All right, breathe easy. Target three hundred and thirty meters. Fire! <laughs> we got a boot shot. Stand by. Carry you down. That was fucking close. Prep. Clear. Metal has a coca plant on it. That's kind of cool. We got a 20 in the garage where Pleto parks his sports car. You snag that, you snag his GPS. Maybe something here. Taking fire from the camp entrance. Supplies are tagged. Break contact. I say again. Break Come contact. Katori's people are on the way to pick up the gear. Check for targets. Wait, we have an objective right 200 meters there. If we're already engaged, we might as well. Stand by. I got a third. Let's clear as much as we can and see if we can't grab that car, okay? Got another tango. Get eyes on what I think is the car in question. Stand by. Do we push it or do we disengage? Stand by. Hold up. Grenade! 
Frag out. Frag out. Weapon emplacement on the roof. Let's go. Get down. Shit balls. Suppress the enemy. Ammo. Let's go. Hold on. Weapon and placement is up again. Stand by. Do not destroy the targets. This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. Found an SB network station. Let's take it out. Pakatari's got some brass ones. I'll give him that. Give that fucker an engine and take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. There it is. Eyes on Polito's car. This car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand the narco bling. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty times you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning. Alright, move in. Alright, now it's up to Bowman and the activity. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Kulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hid him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. Fuck. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Kulta now. Looks like Kulta is still smoldering. Keep an eye out for the rebel they've got held here. Copy. Eyes open for the rebels. I got a narco over here, next to the church. I think we got like at least one behind in the graveyard. One in front of the church. And one behind the church. We'll try to do this as quietly as possible. At least rescue the hostage or secure him before we start with the... Taking down of too many of the enemies. Stand by. He's gone. Let's go. We're exposed. Copy. Open up. Go. Take them all down. Engaging hostiles. Scratch one. Skip the suppressors. Just take them out. Cut off the church so they don't harm the hostage. Shit. 
shit balls. Tango's down. Rebels are joining the fight. We got a truck at the end of the road there. I say again, rebels are joining the fight. Watch your fire, boys. Good to know Pankatari is on this as well. Confirm, let's go in. Oigan, gringos, no hostiles ever there. get out of here. You okay, hermano? What do you want from me? Yuri and Polito, the fuckers who tortured you. We're here to make them pay for what they did. But we need to know where they took you. We didn't travel far. I... I remember that much, and it was quiet. Out in the country somewhere. There... There, there was a smell, like old animal skins. That's all I know. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. At least now we know they're close by. Gracias. All right. The area is secure. We can keep moving. Well, we've established they aren't here anymore, so I suppose we need to... See if we can't lure them back somehow. Let's go. I got a target carrying submachine guns. We're cool, we're cool. with a submachine gun. There, next to the food container. You guys we'll are the rebels know where to find these supplies. Shit. They could pay us back later. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends a prisoner to Yuri and Polito for interrogations. He's gotta know where our lovebirds are, but he's sitting in an Unidad firebase. Let's see how precise we can jump. Stand by. Three, two. One. Five hundred meters. Now. I'm trying to aim us straight for that tower, see if we can infiltrate without getting too obviously spotted. Hey, this is the Unidad Firebase. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target alive. Oh, we're we are dead. we're fucking busted. Let's go. I'm opening fire. Clear to fire, clear to fire. Take down everyone you see, all right? Shit, take cover. Frags going over. Kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo. Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Uh. Oye, Polito. I got a lamp ready for delivery. Un borrego. Vale. Oh, 
Alright, now we need to go. Really, truly, just fucking go. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it they use that spot for their enhanced interrogations. Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. That looks like it could be it. Breach quietly, I repeat. Breach quietly. Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. We've got enemy activity nearby. Copy all. Let's breach it. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. I can't see anyone here. Found a basement. Let's check it out. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him and we're real fucking late. Time to make it right. Take it. Yuri and Polito have been terminated. You know how in the movies people always act like revenge is satisfying? Like it doesn't make them feel any better? Sure. Well, I feel fucking great. Taking out that lovey-dovey horror show also earned us some points with the locals. Make contact when you find something good. Bowman out. Yuri is down. We got more sec Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, jefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. Whoever is behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. 